So I want to clean up this code example a little bit before we move on. I, I, I don't like being having to scroll between main and vector here. And ideally, I'd have .h files and .cpps. But, but just for purposes of this, these videos, I want to keep it all in one file. But I don't want to have to scroll over the stream operator. I think we're done with that. So I actually am going to declare the stream operator and then define it later. So there's the, there's the declaration. Okay, saved a little bit of room, and then let's let's define it down here. I'm going to put the code there, and then I need the the uh, function header right here. All right, so I've defined it down there, and then I've declared it right here. In fact, I'm going to push that way down deep so it's out of our way. All right, I just see if I scroll down, it's way down deep. So so now I have the declaration here. I know it exists, or I don't care. I'm going to abstract away the details, and I'm going to do the same with uh, operator plus. I'm going to I'm going to copy all this. And then I'm going to put a semicolon there. And then I'm going to delete all that. Go down here and ban operator plus down with operator left shift. Okay. So now I can kind of see, if I scroll out a little bit, I can kind of see my vector struct here. And vector has an operator plus and it has a stream assertion operator. My code, if I build it and run it, you'll see that the output is the same as what we had in the previous video. All right. Well, let's talk about friends. I think this is a good place to talk about friends. All right, um, friends. If you talk to anybody who really isn't experienced with C++, they'll probably say that friend classes are bad. All right, it's a dark corner of C++. And I, I was kind of in that camp for a long time. It seemed like friends. It just seemed like this weird thing that kind of broke encapsulation. You know, with encapsulation, we want to make things private and hide away all the details and then make a nice, clean public interface so the people using our class can use it. And once you say friend, then that opens up some, some worms. Well, don't, don't sit in that camp because friends actually help with encapsulation. And I'll show how in a minute. First of all, I'm going to make this a class. Remember, the difference between a class and a struct is a class defaults to private. So now I can no longer... Oh, look, i got to scroll all the way down to Operator Plus and the Stream oper stream Insertion Operator or Left Shift Operator, whichever one you want to call it. Now I'm getting all these red squigglies. All right, let me hover over this. Error. Member. Vector X is inaccessible. All right, all this stuff is now private. It defaults to private because I changed to a class. All right, well, I could turn around and just say public, but that kind of breaks the point of even making it a class in the first place. I, now with a vector or something lightweight, I'd probably just stick with leaving these things public, but maybe you don't want to. It's a personal decision. And there's that, That's a debate I can talk about later. But let's just say we do want to make these private. Okay, So <clears throat> I need to say uh, public here because I don't want my constructor to be private. I want to be able to create these things. All right, but now the data members are private. All right, Let's go down to the bottom here. All right, they're private. I can't access them here. But, but in the case of these external functions, notice these functions I've defined here are are not members of the vector class. But I still want them to be able to kind of see the private members of the vector class. All right, so I want to say this function, this operator plus function, and this left shift function. I want to say that they're my friends. All right, they can see my private parts. Hopefully that makes you feel uncomfortable, your friend seeing your private parts. But that's essentially what we're doing here is we're saying friend, you can see my private, I'll say members, right? you can still do your job. Because really you're, it, it's like these should be members of the vector class, but they're really not. But they should be. Okay, so here, here here's how we do friend. I'm going to say friend, ooh, it turned blue, must be a keyword. And then I'm going to Actually, just cut this. I believe I can do this. Cut, paste. All right, and then and I yeah. Let's keep going and cut this. I'm gonna say friend. Cut, paste. All right, and then let's build. Let's see what happens. Build succeeded. All right, so I, I have two purposes or two things going on here. One, I'm still have the declaration of the function here. I still say it exists. The linker will patch it up later. Right, I still have both of these declarations, but I also say, hey, these guys are my friends. All right, they can access the private members. Notice all the red squigglies are now gone. All right, so so let's go up here and run this, and we see the output is the same. Okay, very nice. Well, I can friend other things. I can say friend if I had a class named cow and I wanted my 
my uh, cow class to be able to see the private members of uh, what's this crying about? Uh, uh, if I wanted my cow class to see the private members of the vector vector class, then I could friend the cow class. All right. But at this point, this is where when people say, "Oh, friends are bad," because it's kind of like making things half public. All right. The cow can see it, but other classes can't. How many things are you going to friend? The more friends you have, the more coupling you have, because all those things can access the private members, and that doesn't make sense. And in that case, yes. Yes, it, it it is a mess. Don't do that. That breaks the rules. But in the case of what I have here on the screen, I've just taken away that other friend class cow. It actually enhances encapsulation. Friend does. Friend enhances encapsulation because before I had to have everything be public. Well, the more public stuff you have, the more other code can touch it and get coupled to it and all that kind of stuff. We don't want that. We want nice, clean, lean, mean interface, all right? So I want the constructors to still be public, but I want these private. But I still have the dilemma that these operators need to see the X and the Y, all right? So friend actually helps me encapsulate with encapsulation there because I can still make these things private, but then these two operators now can still access, access the uh, private data members, all right? So... Friend, uh, like a lot of things, I think with all your tools, there's tools you're going to use day in and day out. All right? But then there's tools that ha serve a very special purpose, and friend is one of those. And this is, this is a perfect example of why. Uh, another big debate, go to. Everybody says, oh, go to's bad. You learn that in your first class. It's like, oh, if you write go to, it's a sin. Well, there's a reason why the C sharp develop, C sharp creators put go to in the language. They're not idiots. Right? If you go look up C sharp, it has go to. C plus plus has go to. I'm not going to go go into all the details now, but used appropriately, go to is nice and useful. All right, used appropriately, friend is good and useful. So don't jump on some religious bandwagon because everybody said, oh, it's so bad. 